Hey everybody! Today we're gonna try something new, our first ever at home experiment. At home experiment. Uh, you're gonna need two things. Uh, number one, some uh, scotch tape. So you can see this is just sort of standard uh, tape, uh, as well as a thin strip of. Okay. Only two things that you're gonna need for this experiment, uh, and also uh, a pen. Now, uh, you probably don't have an amazing uh, battle Pikachu pen. Uh, like I have here, uh, but any pen will do. Uh, let's head uh, to the desk. What you're gonna do first is you're gonna, uh, so you're gonna take your tape, okay, and you're gonna rip some off, okay? Doesn't really matter how long, but you know, about, about that ish is probably good. And we're gonna do with this tape, it's a little bit interesting. We're actually gonna fold just a small piece of it over like that to sort of make a little bit of a tab. So this is like not sticky on this side and, and, and not on this side either. So that way, um, if I put this down on the table, you can see how this sticks up. So I would be able to easily remove it. Now what I'm gonna do, um, this is the first piece of tape that I'm, that I'm using. And with my pen, I'm going to put a B. Um, now I'm gonna grab another piece of tape, uh, either uh, the same length or a little bit shorter uh, and I'm going to make a tab uh, on that as well. And then I'm going to place that directly on top of the other tape that I have there. And I'm going to label this one with a T. Now, T for top and B for bottom. Those are the, the two labelings uh, that we are using. Now, uh, we are going to charge this up. And the way we're going to charge this up is... Since we have the two tabs on top of each other, we can hold them and we can grab the tabs together very quickly, like that, and pull them off the table. Now be careful not to let this stick to you. The next thing you're gonna do is very carefully uh, grab the two tabs individually and separate them rapidly. Now what I want you to do is once you do this, okay, take these two pieces of tape and begin to move them closer and closer to each other and see if you notice anything happening. Whoa! 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 That is crazy. If you touch them too much, uh, all you have to do is place them uh, back down uh, on the table, uh, and you can you can place them back down on the table, uh, rub them back in, and rip them off, and that'll recharge them. So let's talk for a minute about what we observed, right? So if you observe, the two pieces of tape are coming together. Because they're coming together, we know there has to be a force, right? Things don't accelerate. Mass doesn't just accelerate unless there's some net force going on here. So that means there has to be something going on uh, to bring these together. Now, it could be gravitational attraction maybe, but let's do another experiment to really try to figure out what's going on here. Now this experiment you might need help with, but what you're gonna do is make another one of these. So another set with another bottom uh, and another top uh, on top of each other, which, which I've already done uh, just off camera. Now this is, you may need a little bit of help from someone else for this, uh, but what you're gonna do is, is take uh, both sets uh, of your tape and you're gonna rip them off the table. And then what we want to do is we want to separate and let's just get, so I have my, this is my second one. Let's just get the two tops. So for right now, let's sort of forget the bottoms and let's get our two tops. Again, uh, if you have some extra hands, uh, I only have two. If you had extra ones, uh, that, that surely might help. So if we take these two top tapes, we labeled T, also labeled P, right? We bring them together. Let's see if there's anything interesting that it will occur. Now it's slight with this tape, but I think you might be able to see it. Let, let's, let's grab the two bottoms and see if we have anything going on with them. 
this as you can see this is labeled B also labeled but with this one you can see it a lot more watch that piece of tape if I hold it still and bring this stuck to me how interesting right so there again we're seeing more accelerations right and we're seeing uh some sort of force making this happen action at a distance right it's, it's, it's not coming into contact with each other now this second experiment pretty well proves to us that it can't be gravitational because gravitational attractions always have to be attractive this to me looks like an electric interaction right based off of coulomb's law because for coulomb's law like charges right, are going to repel, uh, and opposites are going to attract. So weird, whatever we're doing with the tape clearly is turning uh, a top tape and a bottom tape into opposites, so they attract, and it's also turning a top tape and a top tape in, into to like charges. Now, the other fascinating thing is, is let's grab that paper and let's head back. So last, and, and this is going to be ever so slight, so it's, it's kind of difficult to see this, but we'll, we'll see if we can get it working. So if I bring my bottom tape, so this is, again, towards the paper, watch what happens. Huh. Interesting. Let, let's grab one of the top tapes and see. What's... So it's ever so slight with these top tapes. But see that little pull right there? ever so slight. That would sort of mean that paper is being attracted to both. We have to define this paper we would say is neutral. We didn't do anything to the paper. This is just paper that came out here and I cut it up into pieces. So if paper is neutral all in all this, what's really going on here? When we talk about charge, we're going to use the words excess or deficiency of the only charged particles that are allowed to move, which are electrons. If you remember, there are three charged particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons and neutrons are locked in that nucleus. They're not going anywhere. So because they're locked there, the electrons are the ones that are freely floating around and we can get those to move. When we get something that has an excess of electrons, we would call that thing negatively charged. And if we have something that's deficient in electrons, we would call that deficient, it doesn't have enough, positively charged, right? And if something has equal amounts, uh, we would call that neutral. So when I have this, um, this bottom tape and this bottom tape, right? They're both having either an excess or a deficiency, right? So because they're going to be the same charge, but, but paper just has all of them. What's interesting about, about neutral objects is they can get a slight charge, and that's due to something called polarization. Uh, that word might sound familiar to you because polar bears, but that's not why. Uh, polarization, if you think about uh, water being a polar molecule, right? Water uh, is, is not naturally um, sort of overly charged, but but it has sides to it where one side's a little more positive, little more negative. I don't know what's going on here with this paper. Uh, so this is just a, a fun little experiment that you can do at home. Um, and and this sort of shows us a really good example of, of Coulomb's Law. I uh, hope you enjoyed this experiment at home. And until next time.